everyone. Hope you are all doing fantastic. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get high quality and professional looking product photos from home. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have these three watches here that I'm going to be taking photos of. So I have the silver watch here, which is a bit more, you know, in a business mode or whatever. And then I have these two brown watches here, one with a black face and one with a white face, which are brown to get a more rustic and vintage feel. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to get a solid black background. Fortunately for me, my covers are actually black. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them up and then hopefully get that nice infinite space. The gear we're going to be using is super minimal, super beginner, so anyone can try this at home. So this is actually a Sigma 7200 um, F4 to F5.6. But that's not going to be a problem. We are going to be using some strobes, but it's going to be very basic, very beginner. You can use any strobes or any lights. Um, and this is actually a kit lens. So this has a macro function, which we are going to be using. And then maybe we'll get into some focus stacking and stuff like that. And then later, we also might be using the 15mm f1.8. So let's see how this goes. And then we're going to figure out as we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this black cover from underneath my bed. So I'm going to drape it over there so it makes that infinite looking background. And then I'm going to use a piece of glass and lay it over, which on the black will hopefully, and from my what I remember from physics, will make a reflective surface. So we are going to be putting the watches on there. I'm going to put this down there and then I'm going to time lapse to this. So. <laughs> So that's the first part done. Now let's get the reflective surface. Okay, so hopefully that works. I have no idea how this is gonna look. But uh, yeah, so you can use any reflective surface, like any piece of perspex, plastic, you know, clear plastic, whatever. Um, I actually found this piece of glass in our garage from an old cupboard. Let me just get close to the light from an old cupboard that was just sitting there which i just took and yeah let's see what we can do with that okay so a little bit about the settings for this shoot i went with iso 100 to get as minimal grain as possible, to get as clean as possible, with a shutter of between 1 200 and 1 250th of a second, and then also between f12 and f18, just to get that nice dark background. Here you can see I'm using a bounce and a full just to, you know, just get that nice fold on the other side because I thought it was a bit dark on that side. Yeah, I changed the 16 to 300 because. It has a much better minimum focusing distance, but I still got, I think the shots that I'm going to show you, it's actually from the 70 to 300, um, so it actually worked quite well. Here with a natural light, I'm just playing around with the textures and then create depth. And then one tip that I can give you for product photography is to create height. If you create height and you get low, I promise you, you will get an awesome photo. Completely on the other hand, which you'll see now, is a top-down shot that's where you flat lay everything and then that will also give you a nice spread. Just play with the balance and then you will also have an incredible photo. For focus stacking, which is the next shot, shot um, something that I took away from this is next time I'll use a lot more photos. I'll take a lot more photos to fill in that gaps in between. And then also make sure that you take out the batteries of whatever or of whatever you're shooting or that everything that you take a photo of is laying still. Okay. I'm actually really pleased with that. That came out better than I thought it was going to. Um, it was really a fun experience. Uh, I think I needed the practice and it's definitely something I want to do again. Um, so I'm just going to throw a few uh, before and afters here from some of the photos. Um, you can see that the mirror that I was using or the glass that I was using is super super dirty and it was actually quite it was chipped quite badly but it was standing in the garage for like three years so 
it's to be expected. Um, next time if I do it for a professional client, whatever, I'll do the whole shenanigan, shebang bang with wearing gloves and uh, wiping everything down and making sure that it's clean. Um, but you can see quite a bit of retouching went into the background and the mirror and everything. Um, but I'm super happy with that. Uh, during the video and during the course of recording this, I was actually getting quite frustrated and felt like I wasn't getting the shots that I wanted to, but this actually came out very good. My favorite shots were the, um, the vintage ones. I actually went and I just used natural light for that. Um, but you can see it came out super. Top tip, if you are taking pictures of watches, be sure to take out the batteries. And some friends actually told me after I messaged them and then they said, yeah, to turn the dials to 10 past 10. So 10 and two to create that shape. Anyway, um, so definitely I'm gonna try that next time. And then uh, when doing focus stacking, be sure to take out the battery and make sure that the hands are standing still. Otherwise it's gonna look like you are taking pictures of a propeller. So yeah, we all learn. That's why we do this. Every time we do it, we get better. Um, the important thing is just to go out and to try. If you try, you can either fail or succeed. From your failures, you will learn and the next time you will be able to do it better. So that's all that I'm gonna take away from this. And then uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram at kuniakraman underscore photography. And then I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.